This program examines dermatological conditions and the procedures involved with treating them. Due to the graphic nature, viewer discretion is advised. Why? Why do you keep asking why? Why? Because that's why. Why? My name's Gerard, I'm 46 years old, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm lumpy. I can't possibly count them all. I could guesstimate them to be probably in upwards of 50, 75, maybe even 100 lumps on my body. You know, being a teacher, it's like you're performing every day. But hiding it is, is difficult because they, they do show and I do my best to conceal them. So I have a, another health condition called Factor V Leiden, which is a uh, blood clotting disorder. So I'm a hyper, hyper coagulant. So I take an aspirin every day to make sure that my blood is thinner. Put your vest on, buddy, come on. I've been married for seven years. I have two children, a boy and a girl, four and six years old. I have to be a strong person for them. You know, walk around moping around about how about these? No, I'm not. Does it feel really bad inside? Yeah, of course. It makes me angry. And when these things come out, I want to take a hammer and smash them into a million pieces. There's a lot of anger involved. It's frustrating. It's frustrating when you can't fix something. Today, I am here at Dr. Lee's office to get her opinion on my lumps. I'm hoping Dr. Lee can give me back some of my self-esteem and perhaps feel a little bit better about myself. Well, hello. Hi. Who are you? You are Gerard. Yes. What's going on? You look pretty good to me. Well, Tell me about I have a lot on. of lumps. Oh, okay. And you're the person. This arm seems to be the one that's really involved. Actually, they're both this one bad looks pretty good right yeah, there. Well, oh. Until we reach up here. I see the here. hidden ones. Yeah, these are the. My goodness. These are look the good at ones. You. Those are the juicy ones. You have a lot of them. Yeah. Let me see your record here. Um, How do you get a DVT, a deep vein thrombosis? How do you get a clot? At 23. That's a hereditary blood condition called Factor V Leiden. My goodness. You see the little concern in my face, right? This is exactly what I do not want to learn about a patient that I'm about to perform surgery on. I'm not really sure um, whether I feel comfortable mm -hmm. doing this with you. You know, I spoke to my doctor and, okay. um, you know, he is aware of this. You're not on a blood thinner now, but you have been. I took myself you, off the it. aspirin and um, I also have an anticoagulant for a couple of days that okay, my doctor that's prescribed good. Okay. to make sure that we don't if have any problems. To, okay. I think that what's important for me is to talk about if we were to proceed, what sort of things are we going to do? I can tell that Gerard wants all of his lipomas gone, but that can't happen today. I have to try to choose wisely, try to find the lipomas that I think are going to be farthest away from deeper, more important blood vessels and help minimize the risk of clotting. I'm gonna be keeping a closer eye on Gerard just because I wanna make sure he's awake and alert, he's not getting shortness of breath. There's no sign that there is a blood clot that has broken off and traveled to his lung and caused him major complications. All right. Let me know if anything hurts. Look, that is ready. Just gonna use my finger to move around because it's safer. Not gonna affect any little blood vessels there then. Look. Wow. That was one. I didn't see any problems removing the first lipoma, so I feel slightly more comfortable moving on to the other ones. We just make these cute little sucking noises. <laughs> just trying to get this thing out and it's I thought that easy. was a pop. Kind of. We'll see that noise is a fibrous tissue spreading. Okay, was a number two. Number three. That's four. So four total. You help me with that running tally there. We're up to four. Look at that one, that's cute. What number is that? Five. Good job. How's the bleeding? Not too bad, right? Uh, right now, everything's good too, but you know, you clot. Okay, six. Wow. 
I'm about halfway through removing Gerard's lipomas, and I feel pretty good because there's not that much bleeding. There don't seem to be any complications, but I'm not going to get my hopes up yet. I still have more lipomas to go, and you never know when one of them is going to prove to be a problem. Okay, how do I get to this one here? There's another one on the side, though. So just don't move around too much while I'm here with sharp stuff. I don't want it to go into the wrong place. Look. Wow. That's seven. Shouldn't feel anything. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Don't you start playing with me now. I didn't think that I'd be able to remove this many lipomas on Gerard, but everything's going really well. So let's see how many of these I can get done. Here's their little pop there. That's eight. Ocho. A little okay, alien. Nine. Four. Like General Tro's, right? Yeah. It just needs the breading at least to be fried a little more. Wow. Ten. I made Look a nice at that noise. Saga. Uh twelve? I think that's or eleven. Eleven? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Double counting. There's twelve. It's mm -hmm. Like Noki. That's thirteen. What else we got in here? The gift that keeps on giving. Time right down top. Just okay. amazing. Fourteen? Fifteen? <laughs> what was that? Fourteen. No, you're, you're the one that's supposed to count for me. Oh. All right, let's just call it fifteen. Come on, fifteen. I'm getting tired. Yes, you are. Me too. Do you mind if I let Christy do a little squeeze here in this one? Not at all. Christy, get them out of there. My girl Christy is about to pop herself. She's about to have a baby. So I really thought that it would be a nice little goodbye gesture to let her have one of these pops. Wow. Whoa. That's a good Jackpot one. Jackpot with that one. That was a good one, yeah. 16. Sweet 16, that'll be it. Sweet 16, I like that. The surgery so far has been a great success, but I can tell that Gerard is getting tired, and you know, I don't want to run the risk of having a problem here. Then you sew it up nice and tight, so when I do go on that thinner, tight. nothing's gonna come out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Last stitch. I think that looks good. Yes, okay, but no flexing. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't get nuts. Don't, Don't get, get nuts. nuts. Don't get nuts. Here are your <clears> nuts. <throat> These are the nuts. I'm feeling great. I feel awesome. Everything went so smoothly. I just can't get over it. It's such an amazing feeling to be able to get them out. Sick. What an experience. We took off a good amount right there, but I'm concerned about you because you're not out of the woods with your factor five, you know. Today, I just want you to chill. Take it easy, capiche? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>